Welcome to the Andy Griffith Show Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. My name is Bob. Um, today's video is on things that you may not know about Joanna Moore, who played Nurse Peggy. Let's take a look. She was the first woman to wear pants on the Andy Griffith Show. Between Ellie Walker and Helen Crump, Peggy is uh, the overlooked lover of Sheriff Andy. She does have one claim to fame, however. She was the first female character wearing pants on the show. Um, she lost her hearing before becoming Andy's girlfriend. Moore continued to work throughout the 61 and 62 television season despite her hearing loss. She couldn't hear a phone ring. And a radio turned up full blast sounded like a distant blurred uh, noise. Uh, Moore would have a director tap her on the shoulder when a scene began and read lips to get through her dialogue. It was hereditary deafness and I didn't realize what was happening until I lost my hearing completely, she explained. The condition is known as, uh, well, bear with me, autosclerosis, a bone growth in the middle ear. Surgery corrected her hearing loss in the summer of 62. After the procedure, Moore left the hospital into a busy street. A passing truck honked at her. I was thrilled, she recalled. A role on Route 66 scarred her literally. In 1962, guest role on Route 66, Moore got a gash on her leg as she got caught on the submerged rock while filming a scene in the Pacific Ocean. The injury left her with a six-inch scar. She is the mother of Tatum O'Neill. Outside of Mayberry, Moore is likely best known as the wife of Ryan O'Neill and the mother of Tatum O'Neill, and thus stepmother to the uh, tennis great John McEnroe. I believe that'd be mother-in-law, actually. Uh, Tatum, of course, would become the youngest actor to ever win an Academy Award, which she nabbed in 74 at the age of 10 for her role in Paper Moon. She was in an Elvis movie with another Mayberry resident. The year 1962 was clearly a big comeback year for the actress, and in addition to her appearance on Route 66 in the Andy Griffith Show, she had a memorable role on the big screen opposite the one and only Elvis Presley. Moore played the seductive Alicia Claypool in Follow That Dream, one of my favorites. Uh, the movie also cast Howard McNear, better known as Floyd. She had a romance with Andy Griffith behind the scenes, too. And I will be doing another video on this to get a little bit deeper into it. Uh, but according to Daniel DeVise' insightful 2015 book, Andy and Don, The Making of a Friendship and Classic American TV Show, Anita Corso, who played Helen Crump, was in Andy's first affair with Griffith co-star. He had told Don Knotts at least one other, Joanna Moore, the George Beauty and future mother of Tatum O'Neill, cast in four episodes at the start of season three as a potential girlfriend for the television sheriff. Sounds like it was more than potential. She flirted with John on an episode of The Waltons. In the departure, John Walton packs a suitcase, much to Elizabeth's dismay, heads to the city to seek adventure. He lives in a boarding house overseen by Laura Sue Champion, played by Moore. The landlady has eyes for her lieutenant, and the two share some rather innocent adult bonding. John Boy shows up at the last act to bring Dad home, and that episode was directed by Ivan Dixie, a.k.a. Kinslow from Hogan's Heroes. Her final television role was a TV movie with Harry Morgan and Gary Coleman. Uh, the last television audience would see him more would be in 1980, Boy Scout Lark, Scout's Honor. The corny flick was produced to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the Boy Scouts of America. Gary Coleman, hot off different strokes, starred opposite Catherine Hellman, who plays a reluctant den mother. Classic TV lovers will be interested to find both Harry Morgan and Joanna Moore in small roles. And that's all I have on that. Like I said, I will be going back and looking at the uh, the affair that her and Andy had uh, at a different time, perhaps tomorrow. Uh, but for today, that's all I got. So 
I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great, blessed Sunday. God bless you, and I'll be praying for you. Thank you.